Hello, it's Uncommon Fossil. Today's video is about preparing for the post-rotation world. In that world, Storlax Stall is going to be very strong, potentially one of the best decks in format. And that, that's not an altogether comforting fact, because it's not a lot of fun to play against Stall. I, you know, I, I don't enjoy playing against it either. I do play it some, and, and I can enjoy it, and I respect it. But hey, uh, what, for all, everyone out there, particularly the people that don't like Stall and stay, have stayed away from it, you're going to see it. And you need to be able to beat it. And to me, the only the best way to learn to beat a deck is to play the deck. So at least play Snorlax Stall enough so that you know what it wants to do. So that which also tells you what they, your opponent doesn't want to see you do. So the best way to learn to beat Stall is to play Stall. And if you're a new player to control and Stall style decks, this is a very simple stall deck you know it could be a little simpler but like it's pretty simple all in all so it's a good starting place for how to play stall so it pokemon's for good or bad has made this a simple deck to play they've created snorlax snorlax with the block ability four copies of that that's the heart of the, of the list uh as as long as this pokemon's in the active spot your opponent's active pokemon can't retreat so it's the easiest stall out there is just an ability on a basic pokemon you don't have to attack or anything just boom, stick it up there, and your opponent is stuck. And if we play two copies of with four copies, you want at least two in the bench because there's rope in format now to get that Snorlax out, but you just send up another Snorlax post or taste plus rope goes away, which does help Snorlax, just reducing those switching options. So nice and easy. Uh, one of the things with the stall deck is you need to go infinite, and Pokemon's made it as easy as possible to go infinite as well. We play one copy of Pidgeot V. It's got the Vanishing Wings ability once during your turn. If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may shuffle it and all attach cards into your deck. So boom, if once you get down to w one last card in deck, Pidgeot B, you draw it into your hand, for turn, play it on the bench, shuffle it back in your deck, so now you have a turn card to draw next turn. So infinite deck, a the easiest little loop for infinite deck that is almost, that's imaginable. The only problem is for this is it's a rule box Pokemon, so path to the peak is problematic for it. So we just need to be able to bump that, but um, hey, it, stall grindy game will get there eventually uh helping set up because we don't play an engine really outside of this but we're not attacking this is a zero energy deck i'll just no energies keeping it simple you, you could put an energy in to have an attacker but i'll talk about that in a minute but rotom v is the engine instant charge again we don't want path to the peak of play we want to get that out of play if it's there generally once during your turn, you can draw. You have three cards in hand. If you use this ability, your turn ends. So you can't attack, but we're not attacking with this deck anyway. So very good. Snorlax in the active. Rotom V on the bench. Draw three cards every turn so we can set up whatever we need for the following turn. And then one copy of Mimikyu. Um, look, it's got the safe. We can't attack with it because no energy. But it's got the safeguard ability. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attack for your opponent's EX and V Pokemon. You're usually not going to win straight up with Mimikyu. But you might buy yourself a couple turns to help get set up. Um, and look, it, it, look, it's a different option to put in the, the active spot versus Snorlax. But I think it's pretty clear when you want Mimikyu in the active spot. You want Mimikyu there when your opponent only has rule box Pokemon to attack with, right? So um, very nice there. Oh, actually, Radiant Pokemon do not get it. It's, it's immune to EXs and Vs, right? So anyway, so that's just in there as another tech. You could cut it from the list, but I, I think it helps the deck a little bit. Uh, it is not overly complicated. All right, so the trainers getting into this. With, with any type of control deck, you've got a, a, a variety of trainers. So let's just bar march through it. Uh, but I played a lot of three thick lines of things, too, of the key, key things, because I wanted to keep it s as simple as possible. You might, you'll need to play through the deck a little bit to get a sense of what uh, trainers to play in what spots, but we'll just work through it. So one battle VIP pass, so only one copy. The odds of drawing into it on your first turn aren't good. Well, we play four Arvin and, and some other supporters, so the idea is if you go second, you can you, you may get a, a trainer and draw into it. We also play one... Um, uh, uh, the uh, the tool, I'm blanking on it, sorry, Four Seal Stone, which has the V-Star, Power Star Alchemy, we can grab it with that as well, even if even if we go first, right? So if one battle VAP pass to help set up turn one, if we hit it, if not, that's okay. Uh, some switching for us, two switch carts, uh, which switches a basic to, to from the active to the bench. All we have is basic, so switch carts better, and it heals 30 damage, so that's a plus. We a Gusting, a lot of gusting options, because that, hey, we're stalling, we want to control what gets gusted into the active. So four cross switcher, we switch our opponent, and we switch us both, so just keep that in mind. 
if you're going to play cross Richie, you want to have a, a Snorlax -like on the bench to swing into the active spot. Uh, one has Searing Heavy Ball. Uh, look at your prize cards. Just get a basic Pokemon from there into your hands. Obviously, we play uh, these one of the Pidgeot, the Rotom, and the Mimikyu. So we just want to be able to get, get those at some point in the game. One Echoing Horn. This is very good. It rotates so that this is a definitely a blow to... Um, stall decks, but, um, you know, but there are ways to work around it, but this is the simplest way. Uh, Echoing Horde, uh, put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile onto their bench, so boom. Dis, uh, you know, because what you want, the basic strategy against stall is don't get anything that can't attack, right? But if if uh, they have to discard it, then Echoing Horde to the bench and gust it up the active, boom, we now have that stall that we want. Uh, Sydney, a supporter that's rotating, gives, gives some options. Uh, re the opponent reveals their hand, which is always good knowledge, too, with any control style deck. You discard up to two in any combination of tool, special energy, or stadium. So just, again, just get them stalled and then just get rid of their resources. Pretty simple concept there. Uh, four Pokey Gear, uh, since we don't have much of an engine, but we want to get these supporters to make their life difficult. Uh, look at the top seven cards of your deck, reveal a supporter card there, and put it into hand. Shuffle your deck. Very, you know, nice and easy there. Peonia, this you, you, you'll use on a turn when you don't need another supporter, like a boss or something. So you put three prizes into your hand. Uh, just have a simple rule, like I do one, two, three the first time, and then four, five, six the se second time. Put three prize cards into your hand. Um, then you put up to three, but you're always going to want to do three. Um, and then you put uh, three cards back into the prize slots. So you get to choose what cards you go back. Go back, And you also know where they are. So just keep that in mind in case you decide you need to Peonia another time to get one of those cards. Knowing where those are is useful. Uh, four counter catchers. Um, Right, if you're behind on prizes, acts as a boss, but on an item, very good. Of course, we're not taking knockouts, so you're going to be able to use this before long in most of your games. One super rod, put back up to three Pokemon and or basic energy from the disco pile into your deck. No, no, no energy, so just Pokemon. Uh, with with some decks, you might play some energy so that you can attack, particularly uh, a, an attacker that mills. Because in the mirror matchup, the way this build is isn't in a good position. If you, you stall versus stall, you want to be able to mill your opponent because that's then that gives you the advantage. We don't play that, keeping the deck real simple, no mill in it, so just so don't have to worry about that. But that's an option if you want to make the deck better. The other build, which I think is is probably the best build right now, is with uh, Pidgeot EX. I had a video on that I don't, recently, maybe a week or two ago. Take a look at that. I do think that's the better build, but it's more complicated. So just keeping it simple here. That that's the goal with this list. Uh, Erica's invitation, two copies. So you have one of once there's two, you know it's it's extra important. Opponent reveals their hand. They put a basic. You put a basic. You find there onto your opponent's bench, and it switches into the active spot. If they have a basic Pokemon, if there's no basic Pokemon in hand, it does nothing. You don't always know what's in your opponent's hand. Um, and then the other thing is, it puts the basic. If they have a basic, you have to put one on the bench to swing with the active. There might not be a basic you want to see in play. So just be aware of that too. If you fill up the bench. And, unfortunately, and it's a Pokemon that you don't want in play, then it could be a bad thing. So just keep that in mind as you play the game. One copy of Silene. This is a nice way to keep a deck infinite with a couple of other cards here. You flip two coins, put a number of cards equal to the number of heads from the discard pile on top of your deck in any order. So this card, this lets you recover any card at all. We have things to recover trainers or supporters and such, but here we can get any card at all. So very, very useful. Four copies of Misfortune Sisters. Um, four is, is, is heavy, but hey, this is a, a super good card. You want to toss this down almost as much as possible. Look at the top five cards your opponent's deck and discard any number of item cards you find there. Your opponent shuffles the other cards back in their deck. We, do want, you know, we are winning by milling out, so you pretty much want to get rid of all items, even if they're not useful in the matchup. But getting rid of those switch, switch cards and ropes is super, super good, right? We, we love doing that, so four, four copies of that. Some stadiums, like I said, we want to both pass to the peak and some stadiums to make life difficult for opponents. Two copy of Pokemon League Headquarters. Uh, attacks used by basic Pokemon cost one colorless energy more, so just making it tougher for them to attack because the goal is to get something active that can't attack, but just make them burn more resources, make it harder for them. So two copies of that. Then one copy of Temple of Sinnoh. It, the, the more spec of what this does is all special energies attached to Pokemon provide only colorless energy, nothing else. So 
um, up against it. It makes DTE just one energy. Something like uh, Fusion Strike energy just provides one colorless. So it, it 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 it's very damaging to these decks. Besides bumping past the peak, um, but there's not so much special energy right now. When the special energy is higher in the format, you actually probably run four. You might just run three copies of Temple of Sinnoh. But right now. There's a lot of basic attacking decks, so I think Pokemon League Headquarters has more value right now. Two copies of Palpad, shuffle up the two supporters for the discard pile into your deck. Just makes a ton of sense. Uh, three copies of Penny. This is very good. Uh, put one of your basic Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your hand so we can get um, something out of play that we no longer want. Um, get that, that damage uh, Snorlax out of play so the opponent doesn't take a knockout and such. So just useful there to kind of keep looping things and uh, keeping our opponents from taking the knockouts because, yes, we're going to give up some knockouts. It's okay, but, of course, we cannot give up six prizes or we lose the game. Uh, two copies of Forest Seal Stone. I mentioned this before. Just super good, right? We have the uh, the V in Rotom V, Pidgeot V, so two copies of Forest Seal Stone. You know, again, you could have one copy in some builds, depending for more options, but keeping things simple, multiple copies of the cards that are most important is kind of the philosophy here. Uh, for Nest Ball, just get, get basics in play, right? Nice and simple there. Uh, Team Yells Cheer, a uh, good card here. Shuffle up to three of any combination of Pokemon and supporter cards from your discipline pile into your deck, except for Team Yells Cheer. We only have one copy, so that doesn't matter here. Um, but, you know, get Pokemon, get supporters back. Like, this is one way to get Silene back and Penny back and this Fortune Sisters. So we just kind of keep uh, the pressure on our opponents. Four copies of Bravery Charm. And most decks don't play for, but, hey, I'm keeping things simple here. Just get yeah, adds 50 HP there now for our Snorlax is 200 HP, so it's harder for opponent to knock out. So just slowing things down, making life difficult for our opponent is the goal. Four copies of Arvin, search for a tool and a item, right? We want to get the Bravery Charm, the Forest Seal Stone. We want to get Battle for the past turn one or Counter Catcher or Echoing Horn. So Arvin, very nice. Then three copies of Boss, switch opponents benched with their active, so hey, we stall. It's all about keeping your opponent from attacking turn after turn, so boss is super good. So that's the list. I think it's a fairly, you know, as far as a stall deck or control deck goes, this is about as simple and straightforward as it gets. Um, so if you're familiar with it, it's, it's nothing ground-shaking with it, but if you're not familiar with stall um, or not sure how to beat it, my recommendation is... Get the, take this list, copy it into live, play it so you know how to play against stall because you'll you'll find out quickly what things you're afraid of happening when you play stall so you'll know what to do your opponent to beat stall because I think the future is going to bring us a lot of stall. But So let's take a look at the ladder at the deck in action. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm happy to go second. I probably prefer to go second because that way... Increases the odds of battle VAP pass, right? Can play a supporter, hopefully. So I will go second. Um, so, you know, sometimes the I thought of going first isn't terrible either because a lot of decks want to go first, right? So take away their advantage there. So toss down the Snorlax. Uh, since I have another one, I could bench it, but no reason to do that. Uh, my opponent can't mess with my hand. I don't think, well, no, they could play that, uh, what, grabber, right? And put it in the bottom of my deck and I'll be sad. But I have Nest Ball... And Erica's Invitation is not bad on turn one, right? Um, in fact, back to turn, Erica's Invitation is a very good time. Turn one's a good time to do it because there's a good chance my opponent has Pokemon. It, once they see the Snorlax, they're not going to bench something that they don't want in the active. So I'll probably just play Erica's Invitation turn one. We'll see. And, and you know, do not bench extra <laughs> attackers. Oh, my Unless they have lightning and water energy, my opponent, they're going to lose this game, is what I predict, right? That's probably what's going to happen here. So um, they, they, they can't be happy about this, right? Uh, maybe a Charizard deck is my guess. And, and now they have two Pokemon that can't attack. So they are in some trouble, I think. Okay, so I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to Erica's. I wanted to Erica's, but now... Let me thin the deck some. So I want to drop Rotom. Okay, good. He's not prized. Um, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna pokey gear at this point. I want it to thin right before I use Rotom's ability. 
<sighs> okay, Arvin. I'll play Arvin. Um, do I want to get anything else in play, though? That That's where things get tricky. I guess I'll battle VIP pass this turn. Doesn't particularly matter, right? And I'll grab... Uh, what else do I want? Anything else I want? I, I'll grab a Forest Seal Stone. Let me grab Battle VIP Pass, I guess. Okay. And I'll attach Forest Seal Stone this turn as well. Um, I need to be careful and not use it, though. I will say that. So do I want to get... I don't think I need Mimic Q, or, so I'm just going to make that play. One, one more Snorlax for fun. Attach Forest Seal Stone. I need to make sure I use the right thing here. I need to use Instant Charge, not Star Alchemy. So, okay, good. Making sure of that. Okay. Um, so, so Bravery Charm is really good. Obviously, buys me time. Um, right? Eric is... In, I'm, I'm assuming between Rotom V and Mana v, they can't attack with both. And quite frankly, um, you know, Rotom, it's probably not a Rotom V attacking deck, right? I mean, I, I mean, I've played it and it, it's seen play, but um, not, I haven't seen it in a while. It's not the strongest deck around. And obviously Manaphy does 20 damage. So keeping Manaphy in the active, even if it can attack, you know, doesn't do a ton of damage. There's a lot of turns to get through that. Uh, my, my Snorlax, and then I can can uh, get it back and get it out of, out of play with, uh, man, I'm blanking, with, with the supporter that puts it into hand. Um, okay, so I will, so let's see what I'm up against here. I'm guessing it's a Pidgey, a Pidgey goes down or a, 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 a Charmander. I'm guessing it's a Charizard deck. Could be wrong. So I guess they must have drawn... Oh, yeah, that's, they played Rotom V, so that's what got it. Yeah, so... Which, which is which I thought it would be, which means they can accelerate, but they probably can't attack with the Mana Fee. So, um, you know, my, my opponent's just going to lose the game. I'm, I'm pretty certain. I, 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 you know, I don't really see how they don't lose, right? Now they, you know, in certain lessons here in terms of how to play against Stall, if you if you start the game in your Charizard deck and you start with Mana Fee and Rotom V, don't bench both cards. Okay, don't just don't bench bench both cards because because that's not good. You're probably going to need something like they might play Penny to get something out of out of the deck, but um, so I will. I'll peon you. Just see what I get. One, two, three is how I, I do it the first time. So I want Silene. I don't need Erica's because I already have the Pokemon in play that I want, right? I'll keep Echoing Horn in case they get it out of play. Um, I don't think I need Temple of Sino. Erica's is, is number one, though. I want to remember that. And I will... I have four Bravery Charms. So I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of one of those. Okay. So I'm going to Bravery Charm my active, and I'll just draw my cards. Right? And I, like I said, I don't have to worry about decking out because I have Rotom V. I mean, I have <laughs> uh, Pidgeot V, sorry. Right? That That's easy in infinity, and I'm pretty certain I, he was in the deck. I'm pretty certain, right? Um, I'm pretty sure when I when I, when I played that, I'll be a P-Pass. They showed up. Um, so getting a Pidgey down, a Pidgey's good for your retreat and such. It get, lets them draw any one card they want each turn. So that that's gonna keep them going, right? So so that means they're probably gonna take some knockouts. Most likely, what's gonna happen because once they get Pidgey at EX down, they're gonna get some. They, they'll have access to the switching card. Once they take a knockout, though, Countercatcher goes into action. Um, you know, benching to Mana Fee, which means they can now gust up Rotom V and then retreat, right? That's what they that's one of their options. Or they can play a switching card, right? Boss. Okay, so they're gonna boss retreat. They don't take the knockout, right? I don't think. So I, I'm gonna penny. That's super nice. And 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 the um Yeah, that that's that's awesome. 
That's awesome. And um, now, I, the problem is, hmm, I'm Henny Rotom V out of play. Right, they're going to do 180. So that that's really good. The, the extra 10, you know, if, if you're thinking about how to beat the Rotom V matchup, that extra 10 is quite nice. So I'm going to Penny, and I'm going to set up the Snorlax with the tool attached because they don't one-shot him either. And then the idea is next turn, um, I can... Yeah, so next turn, I can gust, right? That's the goal. Oh, cross switcher, super nice there. Very pleased about that. So, in fact, I, so I'll probably just play cross switcher next turn. Uh, they, they might disrupt my hand, too, but having uh, four seal stone attached is very nice as well. So they're going to hit into me. I will... I can actually penny him out of play. Uh, so they're going to Iono, which is, that's a good play on their part because I have a huge hand, so they're taking away my options. So let's see what I draw into. Um, okay, I mean, if they tool scrapper me, I have access to that. Um, so we'll see what happens. I may want to penny again. Did I penny twice, though? I pennied once. I, I'm trying to think, do what I want? Is there a reason I would want to use pal pad i could right because i think i'd like to, i'd like to penny him out of play um or boss i mean boss isn't bad either right um all right i'm, I'm gonna pal pad penny peonia and i have two pokey gear i would like to get a penny or a boss and i, I do have my four seal stone as well let's see Penny, super good. Um, I think I just play the penny, right? Just keep the penny loop going. Just, um, is that all I'm going to do here? Yeah, because because I'm going to Rotom V, and, and it just forces them to um, eventually. I'll hit a boss, right? Off instant charge. I have Pokey Gear. I want to save my Forest Seal Stone. Okay. So not not terrible, not great. So I probably want to boss my opponent, maybe next turn. That's what I, they're ionizing me again. So okay, I mean they only have so many ionos though, right? So just making them burn resources. Wait, did they? I thought they ionized me before, didn't they? Uh, how'd they get? Maybe they bought, okay. I don't know. I thought they owned me. That was like the second time they owned me. What's in the lost zone? Okay. All right. Just checking these things out as well. So they, I own, didn't they own I know the term before. Um, okay. I'll let them take out a Snorlax. That, that's okay with me. Um, so Pidgey, they can call for... I mean, I have Boss, though, so this is very good, right? Um, so what, ha didn't they, what happened to turn four? Am I just... Yeah, they played Iono. They shuffled, and then they played... So, so wait, what happened? So they played Iono. Okay. They drew, they played another Iono. And, oh, there's two Ionos. Okay, I was looking, I was doing something wrong before. Okay, somehow, I guess I was, I thought there was only one Iono in, in their deck. Okay, so they might take a knock. No, they actually don't take a knock out here. And that's actually very nice for me. Um, actually, I'll, I'll use the cross switcher what I'll do because I'll get my Snorlax that can't be one shot by Charizard sent up, right? Or they'll or they'll knock out my active. We'll see what happens. They're gonna, I think, hit hit me for 120. And I'm gonna cross switcher up 
the mana fee, and they're not going to be happy, right? I mean, that that's really what has to happen here. Um, so I'm going to cross switcher, mana fee, you, that's awesome. And I think I want to... Let me, let me see what's on the other half of these cards. So I did, let me do four, five, and six. I like Misfortune Sisters. Um, Counter Catcher's good. Ar Ar Arbin's losing some value here. I think I'm going to get rid of the, the other Snorlax. So he's in number slot number six in case I find I need him, right? And, uh, okay. And I will... Just instant charge, and uh, now now they have to switch, right? Or they, they can boss up the Rotom V, but they can't one-shot him either. So it's, you know, they can one-shot a Snorlax without my tool attached, right? Um, so I, I don't want to Erica's because that's bad, but Misfortune Sisters is certainly good here. But, you know, they can grab a card, they can grab a switch, they can grab a boss. Um, this is where the Pidgeot EX... It, it, I just don't think it's enough, though. I think the fact that they have these two cards in play that I could just constantly gust up. I, th you know, um, I th does Collapse Stadium survive rotation? I think it does. You know, Collapse Stadium. You, you need to be able to get a one of these cards out of play. You, you never. They shouldn't have put both Manaphy and Rotom V into play. I have ways to get them into play as well, right? If it's in your hand, I can use Erica's. If it's in the discard pile. Avery, okay, I wish I had had that other Snorlax just to get rid of the damaged guy, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so I have two cross switches if they take a knockout. You know, I, I have boss. It, it's just, not, you know, my opponent has very little they can do. Um, I guess they use their ability already. I, I don't, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, so, okay. I mean, yeah. So a second misfortune sister. So that makes my decision making very easy here. Get rid of this, this, and so four cards. That's good. Super rod. So it gets them to deck out a little quicker there. And I'll just draw my cards, right? Instant charge. Keep that mana from the active. Okay, I like that. Another bravery charm. I will not attach it to this Snorlax, of course. Um, I may want to, so I have one penny in the discard pile. Okay. Just keeping track of that, because I'd like to get this Snorlax out of play. Just heal him up. You know, I, giving up prizes, in one sense, giving up a prize is kind of a good thing, though, right? Because then I can use Counter Catcher. But, hey, the longer I can keep my opponent from taking prizes, the better, too, right? Um, so if my opponent, so maybe I shouldn't be fighting against the first knockout so much. That might be a mistake on my part, right? Uh, getting one knockout to happen, even on the Rotom V, although I don't, I'd rather not give up the two prizes, but they still need them to take up four single prizes, right? So, okay, they attached, but, you know, they need, so now they can boss and retreat. And, uh, okay, so they want to take it. They want to take a knockout. That's what they want to do. Um, all right. I mean, that's, uh, okay. I mean, that's a weird one. That's a weird one. Um, they can't retreat now, though. So I don't know why they did that. I think they made a mistake. <laughs> I think they, I think they they clicked wrong. I think they missed. I think they meant to gust up the Rotom V, because now they can't retreat. They attached the energy so they could retreat. They gusted up the Snorlax. So I, yeah, I mean that that that's bad news for them. So I will, I'll make that attachment. I will misfortune sisters again. Might as well, just speed up their demise. Um, wait, how come it shows, says three, okay, three others, okay, just seeing what's in the deck, too, um, and, oh, let me draw my cards, so that I got rid of those two, right, just, I just want to make sure I didn't misclick in the process, so, played Misfortune Sisters, removed those, and I discarded those two, okay, good, so, get another Charizard up. They can attach energies. They have all the energies they need. They could attach one energy to Rotom V just to retreat him as well. But, you know, I don't know if they have energy. And anyway, so 
I'm not sure what I want to do. At this, I'm at this point, my opponent's not going to win the game, right? I, I just don't think it's possible. Um, let's see what's my... Uh, do I, what do I want to do here? Um, I think I want to get some cards back into my hand. I'm thinking... Oh, maybe a pal pad, huh? Pal pad back some cards. So getting rid of my tool, which is good for them. Uh, they, you know, they're thin in their hand in the process too, so I kind of like that as well. So yeah, get rid of the tool and the active, um, which is fine. So, uh, we'll see what happens here, right? I mean, they're they may, you know, sometimes my opponent's going to lose the game. I'm pretty certain of that. Um, so let me Silene, I think. Actually, I'm going to Pal Pad. I'm going to Pal Pad. I'm going to just get back the Misfortune Sisters because that's super annoying there. Uh, the Penny's good as well. I got to say, uh, there's a lot of good things here. I'm just going to... I'm just going to Instant Charge, grab three more cards... Um, so Pokemon League Headquarters doesn't help. All their attackers are evolutions, which is fine. I mean, if they ever take a knockout, I've got Counter Catcher to go, and, you know. Um, so Poke Gear, you know, I just want to deck them out as fast as possible. They've played two Iono. They might play more. I don't know. Um, so they, in the, okay. So, honestly, look, look, my opponent. Right, they they benched those two cards at the start of the game, and that was almost game over from from their decision to bench Rotom and uh, Manaphy. I I not sure. Look, if um anyway, uh well, so anyway, things went very well that game, and I'll I'll, I'll try to make one more game and just see how things go with it. But uh, again, you you saw what the deck does. It's really not that tough to play. I would say I had decisions. Did I make the optimal decision every turn? Not necessarily, but just make a, a... You just need to make a good enough decision each time, and this deck is pretty straightforward, and you will find wins. All right, let's see what happens here. Um, you know, the other game, my opponent made a very major mistake at the start of the game. They benched two not a Pokemon that couldn't attack before they saw what I was playing. And obviously, that, that's how to beat stall is first, you don't bench multiple Pokemon that can't attack. You prefer not to attack, attach any. And you probably, if stall is really good, you need a way to get those non attackers out of play, right? And then it's going to be a battle. Then it becomes a battle of by the one person's getting those non attackers out of play, the stall players trying to get them back into play. But if that makes the stall, uh, stall deck much more difficult, right? Or better yet, you play decks where they all can attack. But then you force, uh, so that's not ideal. But I have, I do a battle VIP pass. Um, I'd like to be able to switch to the bench and get my Snorlax into play. But, you know, we'll see what happens. I might attach Bravery Charm to Rotom V. I like to wait and do the Forest Seal Stone to it. But I might need to... Um, do something to avoid the not avoid getting knocked out. Now, the, am I going first or second? I didn't notice that. Um, okay, my opponent decided to go second, and and they and they they did get the choice. So okay, um, that's fine. That, that um, so they're going second, so I'm going first. I'll see what I'm up against a little bit. Um, so I can't peon you. So the odds of being able to get the Rotom out of the active aren't that good. <laughs> Ready to try. This could be a really Really slow game. A really slow game. I might want to detach temp play down Temple of Sinnoh though, right? That that's that's one question I have here. I could do that, right? Because are they gonna because they're gonna try to knock me out, right? They're gonna play double turbo energy, I'm guessing, right? And uh so the double turbo, and they can—they might knock. You know, double—they flip double heads. They knock me out, right? So I'm guessing they play double turbo in the deck. Um, so we'll see what happens. Okay, Penny is good. I like that. So Avery, okay. 
So it's good to know. And Avery players usually seem to play multiple Averys. Just check out the art here. Okay. Um, so just be prepared for another Avery. But, you know, that's I, I, that should be fine. Okay, got rid of it. And see, they, an Adamant deck. All right, so metal deck. So what is it? Is it Dialga V-Star? Maybe. Okay. All right, so they can attack with everything. So that's going to be awkward. Um, so I can... I think I, I want to start milling them. I, I think is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Misfortune Sisters. And no, oh, so this is what is that? What is Zashian V Union? Yeah, Zashian V Union. Okay. All right, this is going to be awkward. This is going to be awkward. So we'll see what happens. But gave me some information. I I wasn't anticipating the Zashian V Union. I, I give you that. Um, so keeping the Jirachi in the active is probably going to be good for me um, because it's double. They need to flip two heads, right? And they knock me out. So keeping... So they're going to attack this turn. So this is going to be awkward. I don't know that I can make this work. Um, I don't know that I can. This this could be a loss for me. Um, oh, so they whiffed on the energy. So I'm liking that. So they attach there. So I'm gonna uh, oh I have cross switcher so I'm gonna double so I'm gonna cross switcher and uh, yeah do I Arvin I'm gonna Peonia because I'm gonna cross switcher is my is my play I'm gonna make that that's my play so let me just get more information before I do that so I don't need that uh, let's see do I need I, can I drop another Arvin? I think I can drop this Arvin. Boss cross switcher. Pokey gear. I'm gonna drop Pokey gear. I think. I th I'm not sure the rod situation, so I want to keep that. I could have maybe gotten rid of the rod. That's the other way to go too. So let me just send him up because right now he can't really attack. Right, to, he can evolve and do 120, which isn't terrible. I mean, it's not great, but. Um, so, but the idea is, look, they, they need three energy on these Magna Zones, each of them. To, I mean, he can attack for less, but he's, it's taking, a, they've got, a, it's a lot of turns to get through me, right? So the goal is slow down my opponent. This, this is a game where they can attack, I assume, with every Pokemon. Um, they play a lot of energy, so I'm not going to be able to get them out of energy, right? Because the, the, the thing is, with a deck that plays... A lot that can attack with everything. Usually, if you get enough um, Pokemon into play, eventually they they run out of energy to it to attach energy to all their potential attackers. The thing is, this deck they play Adamant. Okay, they play Magnezone. They're playing a lot of energy in deck, right? So they have the potential to attack with everything here, right? So that that's what I've got to do. I've just got to make their so I think I'm gonna let them you know what I think uh, do I wanna let them I wanna let them take a knockout I think but I think I wanna get the active guy out of here and I and I think I don't wanna attach my tool back to him. That's what I'm thinking because I don't have a third uh Snorlax yet. So I'm gonna keep it like this and just draw some cards. Right, and next turn I can gust up the Magnezone on the bench. Just, just keep making their lives difficult. It's a goal. They got, they got a lot of nice arts here, so that's good for them. Um, you know, they, they haven't drawn through the deck too much. Obviously, decking out is the win condition here. It's going to be tough to do though. I will say I, I should nest ball get down another Snorlax. That's what I should do, and. Uh, Good. They want to put energy on him. Okay. So they're going to hit into me. And what do I want to do here? They're not going to take the knockout. I want to get down another Snorlax because they're going to knock out my Snorlax, right? That That's coming. Oh, okay. Well, I guess. And so do I, what do I want to do here? I want to, let's see. 
grab boss. Boss is good, but I really would like to misfortune such as I think. Sorry, I didn't say that. I haven't played that yet, right? Have I? I did. So, you know, I'm going to put increase the odds, put one back in deck, and I think a Peonia could be good too. So, and I'll play Poke Gear again. All right, good. That is the card I wanted to play. I should have played the Pal Pad before the first Poke Gear, right? So let's see what they got. Get rid of a rare candy. Okay. Um, now, one of the things, not letting them take prizes does have an advantage here. They're taking one prize. They, a, a, a VE piece could be prized, right? So, um, okay. And, and obviously, oh, sorry. So if V and Pieces is prized, they have to have all four pieces to play the game. So they take the knockout. I'm going to set up the Snorlax again without the tool because right now they can't one-shot him. And um, now things are a little bit awkward. Now things are a bit awkward. So, hmm. I can attach this tool here. Um, I don't really want a boss, do I? Let's see. Uh, I don't know if they have another basic in, in their deck that I want to get into play, right? Let me just look at the log quickly. This is the nice thing with the visual log. Have I seen any Pokemon that I... No, I don't think so. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to Erica's. I'm going to, I'm going to miss Fortune Sisters. And just get rid of some, hopefully get rid of some some items, Magnezone, Energy. Okay. just It gives me a, a, a little bit of sense of what's in their hand as well. Um, I, you know, I don't know that I want to keep giving up more prizes, though. So I might want a penny this turn. I, I'm not certain. Um, if if I get a sense that there's any attackers, that, that any any Pokemon they can't attack with, obviously that's what I want. They they could play um, Radiant Greninja in the deck, right? That that could be a good, you know, they could play that, and that would. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just do a switch card here. I think. I don't know if I want to switch cart though, do I? Um, I'm going to play this just to see Zashian, Boss, Adventures. All right, so nothing there. So they don't play, really play switch card, which, which isn't a shocker there, right? Um, so I'm going to a switch cart. Heal up 30. Um, just and, and grab grab some cards. Okay, Echoing Horn. I might need to, um, pull, you know, try to that support the um, Erica's invitation, right? Do they play Rancor Ninja? The problem is, is I have no idea when they will have that in hand. So, okay, take another knockout. That's okay. That's okay. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm they, they're keeping their bench small and tidy, which is good. Good for them, for sure. All right, so I'm going to rod back both Snorlax, get one one, one on the bench, because I have... Actually, I'm going to both on the bench, right? And then... I should take a look at my deck, too. So this is a tough match, right? So this is a matchup... Do they pull? All right. I don't have Misfortune Sisters, though, do I, in hand, right? And I can't get it. So, unfortunately, right? Um, tool. All right. I'm going to. I just don't know what's happening here. So, I'm going to. There's nothing really good to boss either. So what's in their hand? Rare Candy, Clara. All right, so this isn't going great for me. Um, okay. 
mean, I can gust up the Radiant Jirachi, but is that going to work for me, right? I, it probably doesn't, though, right? It probably doesn't work for me. They're probably ultimately going to get the knockouts. They need four more prizes, right? And, the, and obviously Rotom V could be two prizes there. All right, well, I'm glad to see that, actually. Um, so now... What's this guy here? Dialga. Okay, because Dialga obviously is, is, is scary for me, right? Dialga is scary. So, unfortunately, you know, so they have a Zashi and UV Union piece, but of course, I can't get him onto the bench. Ooh, that coming horn. Maybe Live will be broken and I can put him into play with him, but I don't think I can. Um, so, I guess I penny him out of the active spot. Um, the Mimikyu is immune to... Okay. I don't know that I have the ability to slow this down enough to make this game work for me. But we will see what we can do here, right? Snorlax. Bravery Charm. Bravery Charm might as well. And... I think I, and I draw some cards... You just have to be careful. My deck's getting low here, right? My deck is getting low. All right, Erica's Misfortune Sisters. I might need to Erica's and hope, right? I'm kind. At some point, I need to Erica something. They have a decent size hand, so I think I think I Erica's this turn and hope hope they have something in hand, right? They don't have anything to discard pile that I can Echoing Horn. Adventures Discovery, so they're, they're going to, okay, they're going to get Zashi and Vinyan, and Zashi and Vinyan is probably bad for me, too. Um, so we'll see what happens. So, I think I, I think I, I want to Erica's in, in Hope, right? I Erica's and I Hope. And, oh, Squawkabilly, let's go. Squawkabilly is gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, that is great. That That is what I, that is exactly what I needed, right? Exactly. So I'm going to drop down the Pidgey, just f show off the Pidgey, just flex what I have here. And, um, right, put you back in the deck. I think I might go on the bottom. I, I don't I don't really care. And I will um Rotom V. So now my opponent knows my deck's infinite. I, now I can't Rotom V when I'm down to right that last card. So I might want to get the Rotom V out of play soon. Uh no. I mean, yeah, actually maybe I do. Maybe I get the Rotom. Actually, yeah, I should penny the Rotom V out of play. I think that's what I need to do here. And I will switch cart and penny Rotom V. We'll see, let's see what my opponent does. So that that was huge getting the Squawkabilly EX into play. They, my opponent was smart. They didn't put it in the discard pile. Post rotation. Um, okay, so. Anyway, getting more energies accelerated, which is good for them as well. So, but it's okay. I'm going to penny Rotom V out of play because that's really my concern at this point, right? And I'm going to just drop my Pidgey back into the deck. Just keep this loop going, right? Vanishing Wings. And, yeah. This life is good at the moment, right? Life is good. So I just and I just end turn. That's all I do at this point. Just end turn. So I'm not gonna deck out that squawkabilly saves the day for me. Oh, I think I do want to get that Snorlax out of play. So let's take a look. What do I have for penny? So I have three pennies in deck. So, okay, so I'm mean, getting more cards in hand. They, they may play Iono, and I have no more draw engine if they Iono me, right? Which is, you know, that is what it is. Um, but Squawk ability that, you know, they, they I don't, you know, if they play as a supporter to get Squawk ability out of play, that is the scary thing for me. Um, 
So I want to. I want to do here. Do I? I don't want to do any of that stuff. So I. I'll take a look here. See what I can get out of, of their hand. A anything? Okay. One. Just get them closer to decking out. So they have two bosses in deck. Okay. So that's. Okay. I mean, this is where. I might lose the game. This is where I could lose the game. So. I'm going to make this play. Do I need two pennies? I think I need both pennies is what I'm thinking. I got to keep from giving up too many prizes here. That's what I got to do. And yeah, so... I mean, I could gust and switch these guys around, but that's not happening. So let me make my Pidgey play. Put you back in the deck. And I'll end turn. So they have two boss in hand, but look, they, they, they can gust up my Snorlax, uh, which is why I want to get a Penny back into hand, right? They can get gust up my Snorlax with all the damage is what I mean to say, right? So we'll see what happens here. Um, just keep that Snorlax stuck, of course. They're only doing 20 damage, 20 damage, 20 damage. I mean, at this point, they're going to, you know, they cannot win with just Snorlax, with just uh, Squawkability. It's just not going to get them there. They've got too many turns, right? Too many turns. All right, so Pidgey. Um, I want to Arvin here. There's a reason to Arvin. I don't know if there is. Is there? All right, I'm going to Arvin because that gets me uh, just that. Okay, so what's in here? Yelch here. All right, so there's my pennies. Okay, I mean... I mean, I could drop down my other Snorlax too, right? Do I? Do I? Do I? Am I missing? A, I think I want to just do this. I, I think I want to get Silene at some point. Um. So I'll just end turn. Okay. End turn. I have Cross Switcher. I have Counter Catcher. They're probably going to play Iono, I'm guessing, maybe. They might not. I don't know if they're going to have it or not. Have They They haven't played Iono, so do they? Clara, 3 Avery, Boss, Adventure Discovery, Research. They they probably play more. They have two more Boss in deck, right? And that might be it for supporters. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want Erica's because I want to keep that squawkably stuck in the active, right? That's... Just a basic thing that I want to keep happening here. Oh, Yelch here is good. Um, okay, so... I want... I still want Penny. I think I want Misfortune... No, no, Misfortune Sisters is what I want. Yeah, Penny and Misfortune Sisters. That is very nice there. And I will just end turn. Okay. As soon as I get the Pidgey at V in play, I want to sh stick them back in the deck, right? That That's that goal. I was like, wait, what am I missing? I felt like I was missing something, and then I realized no, I was missing the... So, boss... Okay. I mean, now I need to... I mean, I, this, turn, this turn, I think... Well, actually, I have Cross Switcher and um, such, so... You know what? Do I want to... I don't want to bump... If they put... Do I want to bench? I don't want to. I mean, I could get him out of play, right? But he's still got a lot of attacks left. So, Erica's Peonia. And right, I'll make this play. Let's see. One, two, three. I think I did all these already, right? So, Arvin. Arvin. I don't need two nest balls, right? Okay. So that's that, and I will just enter. I could bench Pokemon League Headquarters because then I need one more energy to attack with. Um, and that they might be one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They have 14 energies in play. I don't know how many are in their deck. Could be out, right? 14 is a, a very good, a very high number, in which case they can't attack, but I'm not going to. Okay, so I think I wait on this. Oh, Penny. Yeah, actually, I, I want a Penny here. I want two Penny. So that's quite nice. Thank you. Nice get there. Send you up. Drop you down. Attach there. And I will end turn. Okay. Um, so this game's going slow. I, I, I'm not playing super fast. Look, I have over 10 minutes, but this, it's been a slow turn for me. So are they going to... All right. Do they have the Zacian? They're still missing a Zacian piece, right? Ventures Discovery, so... Okay, which they, 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 they know what's in their deck now. They know what's in their hand, so... Um, okay, I mean, I can't... I don't think they're going to be able to win this game, but I will just, at this point... I think I just end turn, right? Yeah, just end turn, so that's okay. They know I have Pidgeot V in here. You know, Pidgeot V... And Path to the Peak loses me the game. But I have these other stadiums in hand, right? So the, so Pidgeot V, Path to the Peak, and my not having a stadium to bump it means that they've Iono'd me or judged me and that I have a big deck there. So they could then, of course, gust up the Pidgeot V the following turn, possibly, right? And knock him out. And then that puts me in an awkward spot. But... Um, you know, I'm not going to deck out. If if they sh get, if if they shuffle the, our hands in the deck, I, obviously besides the fact that I have the Pidgeot V, I've got a lot of cards here. So they chose not to attack. So I'll just end turn here, right? Um, I just need to make sure once I once I see Pidgeot V, I just need to get him back into play, back into what did I shuffle? What did, I just need to get that Pidgeot. All right, so here we go with a boss which is fine. I mean, I'll let them attack some, and I will. I mean, they. so I have game here. And, right, no cards in deck, so... And they conceded. So, you know, they attacked just for kicks. Um, so anyway, so there... So that was a game where Erica's Invitation was the star, right? So my opponent was smart. They were smart in that they held back the uh, Squawk Ability EX, right? The, the best thing that they could have done, of course, would have been to try to get it back in the deck. They were smart in that they didn't discard it, right? Because then Echoing Horn would have got, got it back in play. Post-rotation, Echoing Horn goes away, but there are attacks that do the same thing. So um, Squawk Ability, you know, did 20 damage, so it would have gotten there eventually, but then the important thing is with this deck is you have a lot of healing so that they just 20 damage per turn isn't going to get there. So even though you can attack with Squawk Ability for 20, it's just really not going to get the job done. And I don't know if they played Iona or something like that to help refill their deck, although their hand wasn't that huge by that point either. So um, anyway, stall is, uh, you know, it's for real. So make sure you know how to play it and so that you can play against it. You know, you might want to play it, but even if not, you know, you want to be able to beat it because I really don't want us to be in a world where uh, half the games are up against stall decks. I don't think any of us want to see it come to that. So let's all learn how to beat stall. Take care.